Ugh. Fucked. Hello and welcome. I am Zinder and this is episode 13 of my Minecraft Let's Play and we are going to do something with this stupid floor. How's that for an intro to the episode? Um, I don't know the exact dimensions of this room and I'm not overly concerned. I know that I'm now once again walking out into the dark like an idiot. A food bar is not full. What I'm looking for, I'm probably not going to be able to easily find. Uh, half of my tools, actually pretty much all my tools are almost broken, except for my sword. But, uh, hey, it seems fairly uneventful so far. I'm only carrying pretty much all the wool to my name. As well as completely full inventory of stuff. But, uh, I need black dye. Because I am finally going to do something with that retarded floor. And I'm pretty sure I already said that. But, uh, in order to do that, I need dye. Which means squid killing. What? Oh, go away, zombie. Can't you see I'm busy? You too, skeleton. See? That's something I've completely and totally forgot about. Was blocking, but it's apparently not helping. Oh my god, this water is gonna get me killed. That's right, I killed another chicken, being stalked by a skeleton, the very same one that wouldn't let me out of the water, and was slowly killing me. Okay, I think I've had enough dangerous fun. Oh, maybe not. Oh, come on. Any other time, I would walk just far enough away that he would barely even hurt me. Not that time. I blame the rain. It could be worse. It could be a thunderstorm. And he could have become a super creeper. And blown up the entire freaking landscape. I'm now going to run, 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 run. Just to see that there's a skeleton and a zombie camping my corpse. Lovely. Oh, two skeletons and a zombie. Three skeletons and a zombie. Wow. Okay, I would just sleep, but there's no point in it. It's raining. And because it's raining, I'm not going to be able to kill them by spawning the sun by sleeping. So, there's no point in sleeping. We're just going to try to run over there to where the swords are. We'll worry about the other stuff when I get there. At the moment, I need swords, and I need them bad. Swords, sword, sword, sword. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. That is a load of stuff. Oh, Jesus. Okay. There we go, that made things a little bit more manageable. I've never seen 
so many mobs. Not normally spawned, anyhow. Oh. There was an Enderman. I really need to roof off my sheep. This is, uh, probably not the eventful start you were expecting. You were... Jeez. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Okay. I've had enough of this nonsense. We're doing things the right way. Or the probably going to lose some more stuff way. But I keep on getting killed because I keep on getting cornered when going after my weapons. So we are going to kill them. Or at least fend them off till I can get near my stuff. Or I'm going to walk out the door and immediately start getting skeletoned again. Creeper. Creeper. Whoo. Okay, I see a spider. Two spiders. Zombie. Thank you, Mr. Skellington. Okay, so far this episode has been a lot more eventful than I was originally planning for. Get all my wool, everything else. Here we right dug into the hill. All that stuff. And okay. Hopefully that's everything. Except for all these random skeleton drops that keep on appearing on me. Now, we can get to what I was trying to do, for the most part. I know there's a creeper just above my sheep farm, and I'm not very happy about that. So, I'm probably going to have to deal with him most directly. Yeah, him. Ooh! Okay. Oh, come on. You know, any sensible person would just be like, well, why don't you just light up the landscape so stuff doesn't spawn there. And that is a very good question. Probably because of the fact that I apparently cannot walk outside my house without getting attacked by an ungodly number of monsters. Repeatedly. Stuff is just strewn everywhere. My inventory is now full from all the dirt and stuff I've picked up along the way. Oh, come on. You know what? Just, just die. I have the health to handle it. Just die. I heard... Wow. They're actually really good at sucking down on that grass. Oh, come on. Come over here. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. 
Thank you, skeleton. You were mighty helpful. I'm done with you now, however. Okay. Hopefully, that's the end of that. Well, I have this feeling things are just beginning. But, I'm gonna store these materials. I've got wool. I've got cactus green. I've got bones. Might as well make some more lime wool. There we go. I now have more lime dye than I'll probably ever need. And I'm just going to store that stuff in this chest at the moment. I need to get everything organized now, because I've officially just destroyed everything. Got a bunch of everything. Yeah, because that was descriptive. Um... I do have a design for my floor already planned out. And you should be able to determine what it is once I get started. And I should organize my inventory. I should, but I apparently haven't. And I put all that lime wool in there. One of my goals for this episode is going to be to fix this amount of random crap in my inventory. I'm sure you now see what the pattern's going to be, um, but I'm trying to, I don't know, for some reason I'm just not feeling very talkative today. As I'm sure you've noticed, I'm not really talking at all, but there's not a whole lot to talk about. I, I just can't really think of anything to talk about at the moment, so what are you going to do? And, wow, I'm going to need a lot more wool than I thought I was. But that is okay. Shears? Shears. A little bit of inventory management here real quick. Not proper organization like I should have, but it's something. Oh, hey, it stopped raining. That's always... Oh, no, it didn't. Had to open my mouth. Why are some of you white sheep? Oh, come on, move. Move. Oh, come on. Okay, now move. Yeah. I need to... I'm going to put on the list of things I need to do, uh, separate the animals in the animal farm, and maybe even make, make separate sheep farms, in sp like, specifically, so that way I can have differently colored sheep, if that makes sense. Oh, I really don't want to destroy my bed. And and the pattern is revealed. Not that it wasn't kind of obvious before. Ooh. I 
I didn't want to just do solid green because I more or less had that down there. Or lime, technically. Lime green. Oh, I know what I need. Need some of this. And I'm actually going to keep track of the time of recording today, and from the looks of it, I'm not going to get a whole lot actually accomplished. It looks like I'm mostly just going to be getting this floor done. But, I did have that very, 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 very eventful beginning. So that's something. Okay, I just need more room for them. I, I think that's all I really need. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna need to move the infinite spring. It's going to be horribly in the way there. Ooh. Uh oh. But, that's on the list of things that I'm not overly concerned about. Right. First of all, I'm going to clear out my inventory. Well, not clear it, but organize it in a way that makes sense, as opposed to what I have now. And, flowers might as well be in the, uh, the chest of stuff. I'm apparently not putting any thought into what I'm saying right now, because I'm not doing a very good job of saying things, apparently. But, I know what I'm doing, mostly. Emphasis on the mostly. I really need to get to cooking some of these pork chops and stuff, but not getting there. I have other plans that include creating the floor, and I'm not gonna lie, this set of stairs and stuff, I'm just gonna keep building like this, and I am probably going to eventually hit bedrock, and I am probably going to eventually dig out diamonds by doing that, but I'm not physically strip mining doing that, I'm building layers in my house. So, you know, don't criticize me for doing it that way. Okay, I need to handle the infinite spring, and I'm just going to turn it into two buckets of water. And call it good. Um, need to see if the sheep regrew the wool yet. Black sheep did. And I just watched that one regrow its wool. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to actually finish the floor today, but... Um... Eh, take that back. I can always finish the floor very easily. All I gotta do... Is add a little bit more time to the video. If it comes to needing to add more time to the video. Which is entirely probable. Or, I could actually try just skipping some work. Not skipping, but not recording it, because it's going to just be the same general tedious task. And I didn't want to cut things, but I've come to realize that some of the repetitive actions that have no chance of failure... Even though it technically does have a chance of failure, because my sheep farm is outside. Um, they're just... Going to take up way too much time. Because, I mean, this right here, this is running back and forth, trying to get wool from sheep. There's not really a whole lot to that. Um... Hmm... I thought I knew what I was doing, but I apparently don't. Well, I know what I'm doing. I'm waiting for sheep to regrow wool. However, I need... I need to check on the wheat farm. It's, it's kind of growing. I'm on. Uh... 
Oh, right, I forgot about those spots. What? What is with the disappearing seeds? I'm pretty sure I can't trample this, but out of force of habit, I'm still going to crouch walk on them. Or sneak. Technically, it's called sneaking. Okay. Nine wheat, and I ended up with 18 seeds. That is very, very handy. Because in case you don't know, what is going on there? Okay, I'm just going to stay far away from that, because maybe I'm trampling it. Anyhow, there's now more stuff down there. I need to fix that, which means I need more. Oops, that's not the block I wanted to break. I'm sure you might have a general idea of what I was planning to do, but if you didn't before, you definitely do now. This will... Well, it would make it easier if I had everything I needed in a place where I could access it easily. But, all of my valuable resources are way up here. And we'll just grab coal. Lots of it. Nobody cares. And... Because I'm going to end up needing it anyhow, I'm just going to use an entire stack of cobble on this. I thought I knew what I was doing, but here I am screwing it up. Yeah. Oh! He was just sitting at my window. If I would have looked out the window, I would have seen that. Oh, I just remembered I haven't been checking for cactus. Well, there hasn't been any in there in the last five minutes. I don't know about previous to that, but, uh, definitely not in the last five minutes. Okay, sheep, you're being really stingy with the wool. Trying to listen for walking sounds, because creepers make me paranoid now. I, I don't want to lose my sheep or have my sheep get loose. They get loose, my chances of finding them become very much lower. And I don't know if you realize what I'm doing but you might be able to once I do this. And no, I'm not segregating the pigs from the sheep at the moment. I am, however, making it so there's a lot more grass, hopefully making it more likely for them to eat um, giving them more space so it should be a lot easier for me to make it in the door. And, I don't know, I'm probably going to turn this into a proper stable at some point. Or barn or something. Maybe a barn. It's almost in good condition to be a barn. But, uh, whoa. Sneaky, sneaky, Mr. Creeper. I will just sprint knife you. That was kind of close. And I've just realized a newfound love for that pressure plate. It provides me with something very, very handy. Such as the ability to sprint hit them at my door. Um. Oh, there goes a shovel. Apparently my last shovel. That's no good. 
I am almost done with the lime part of this, but I need a lot more black, it seems. Get the lime out of the way, and then I'll dye as many sheep as possible. Stay in here. He actually felt like giving me some. So did he. Okay, move. It's time to run away. Uh, I'm getting kind of quieter and closer to mumbling, I know, but I'm also still trying to partly think about what I'm doing, even though I've pretty much already got it all mapped out. But that's mostly just me being retarded, as usual. I know what I'm doing, yet I'm still thinking about it. Overthinking and overcomplicating everything. What do I need? One more lime? Might actually just remove the whole cactus thing there. Maybe. Maybe I'll just move that. I don't know. Maybe I'll just build a cactus spire on top of my house, since I'm pretty sure I know what to do with that now. But, uh. I'm going to. Go find some food. You know what the heck with finding food? I'm just going to craft some food. I have bread. And still being really quiet, but I'm not really in a talkative mood at the moment. Just feel like playing some Minecraft. But hopefully uh, next episode I make be a lot better be a lot more talkative. Okay, black, black, black. What? Oh, okay. I have five sheep in here. Okay. okay. Oh, come on. I'm... You guys want to see if I can kill an Enderman? I think we should see if I can kill an Enderman. Oh, I got him. And he dropped an Ender Pearl. So, hopefully, sometime in the future, we'll be able to go to a stronghold. And there's a zombie on my roof. I'm not happy. It's been... Like I said, I'm actually keeping track of time today. However, I am going to go over the 30 minutes that I wanted to keep these episodes at. Um, partly because I'm working on the floor. and Hopefully that won't take too much... Whoops. Longer past the time I want. Oh, come on. I mean, I've pretty much got the, uh, the lime set down. Now, I'm gonna have to start getting people's opinions on whether they want me to just cut this meaningless stuff, especially where I get really bored, or maybe just speed it up. But... Zombies are burning. I don't really need lime. I'm not quite sure why I sheared him. Now, in theory, if I were to mate two black sheep together, I should be able to get another black sheep. Well, not in theory. I'm absolutely sure that it works that way. Because I've done it on multiplayer. But, uh... Th th this isn't the animal breeding episode. This is apparently the finding holes under my floor episode. Um, this actually might not take all that long as long as they keep on giving me a good number of black wool. But we'll see. And how many times I have to rip out the lime wool under something just so I can place the black wool. That was a lack of 
foresight, forethought, for for something. Could be a lack of four black wools. I don't know. For something. I heard a sheep eat something. Bye bye black sheep. Give me all your wool. Every single piece. That's not enough. I will be back. This is actually turning out really nice, in my opinion. But that's my opinion. But I really like how it looks. The rest of the house, not so much. You know what? I'm going to do my plan for the nether portal. And now you may know what I'm planning on doing. Because of what I just collected out of a chest. Adding more clutter to my inventory. And I should have brought a shovel. But I didn't. Oops. Um, yeah, there we go. Because this isn't at all dangerous. How could this in any possible way be even remotely dangerous? Actually, it's not really high enough to be dangerous, to be honest. But, still, maybe add a little bit more excitement. Because, you know, there wasn't enough at the beginning of the episode. But, uh... I figured the intro that I started adding since last episode was very befitting of how things usually turn out on this series. Generally, the thing that always kills me every single time is creepers. So, I figured I would make an episode that had to do with, or an intro that had to do with creepers killing me. Hmm. And that doesn't look quite the way I had imagined, but... Screw it. It can stay like that. It was a good use of mossy. Or bad use of mossy. Depending on how you guys look at it. Considering I don't really use mossy too much, I consider it a good waste of mossy. Okay, ten more black wool. This episode's probably going to be close to 35 minutes or so. Um, but, we have finally fixed the ugly-ass floor. Ugly because it was dirt. The whole thing was dirt. Well, and there was a little bit of wood over there where a creeper blew a hole in it. But, uh, lack of foresight on building things here. Clearing it up. And now, oh, I completely didn't even think about that. And for those of you that didn't notice what just happened, I shall repeat it. That, that's what happened. The ability to remove wool faster with shears. If that open, whoops. I'm, out. I'm almost done with the floor, guys. Almost done with the floor. Stingy sheep. Eat. Thank you. Oh, one. They really do not want me to finish the floor. But I'm patient. I can wait. Okay, I give them more space and they still block the doorway. I'm going to start creating some kind of 
system where whenever they do that, I can push them out of the door. And... Now I can place these wools back in. And I need three black wool. They just couldn't give me the wool when I wanted it, could they? Come on, I just need three black wool. Just three black wool. That's all I want. That's all I need. Then I can finish the episode. Come on. Eat. Give me some black wool. You gave me three black wool. Thank you very much. Move. I know you're not happy about being naked and made naked repeatedly. But could you please move from the door? Thank you. I, I, I'm not... I mean, I could just punch the sheep and it wouldn't even get close to dying and it would run away and it would get away from the door. But... I don't want to risk death of my sheep. But, the floor is now finished, and I rather like how it turned out. But, I still don't know what I'm going to do for the walls, because while wood's okay, I'm not a gigantic fan of it. And I don't think it looks so well with the, uh, the wool. But, I'll leave that up to your guys' opinions, and I'll see you again in episode 14.